In this example, we're using a Power Automate script to send out a weekly report via email. And we're essentially collecting items from a SharePoint list, converting that information into a table and sending it out. So what we're going to talk about today, see other videos on how to create this, but what we're going to talk about today is how do we get that report to send out at a specific date or time within the week. So stay tuned, we're gonna to jump to that right now. So the first question is, can we have that come just to us on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? And the answer is yes, you can, but you cannot do it with the day setting. So what I suggest is that you use this central time or whatever time zone you're in. But here, if you go today, it's just going to ask you what time you want to send it on that day, right? But if you go here to week, and then you say, I want to, let's just say I want to select all days and just deselect these two. Now you have it, so it's only going to come on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's a pretty easy way. Quick fix. A lot of people don't see it right off the bat. Very creative. And now you see here, it's going to work just fine. And you can specify what minutes you want it. For example, if I wanted it at 1430, I could do that, right? Notice here, now it's at 1430, Monday through Friday, every week. First thing. Second thing is when we get the items from within SharePoint, how can we... You see the site here and the list that I'm pulling data from, and that data is coming in at a regular basis, but I only want a report sent to me via email once a day. So, and I want the report to be fresh every day that it gets to me. So within our list, we have a field called create date. Okay, that's the field name within the list. And we type space GT, get, right, space, a single quote there, not a double, single. And then we're going to click on here onto the expression. Now, I've written out the, the whole thing right here as well, but you can pause the video here if you like. Remember, we're right here under expression, and we're going to say add days, UTC now, minus two. Now, what that minus two means is that I'm going to get any note, any, the table that I'm going to get in my email is just going to have today and yesterday. That's it. If I put in a minus one, for example, here, all I will get is anything that came in today. So let's go ahead and take a look at that list and see what we're talking about here. So first of all, let's go ahead and run this. We can test it and then you can kind of see it in action. So, um, just to go down through this, I guess we could do this real quick. Here, we're going to create an HTML table. Remember when you're creating this, you're creating it as a custom table. Okay, there's an option there. Again, see other videos. I'm just kind of kind of going through this quickly. These are the SharePoint fields. We're going to look at that SharePoint site in a minute. And then you're going to put a compose. And the compose is basically going to take that, um, that information... For, that you're getting here from SharePoint and put it into an HTML table, which you're going to see here in just a minute. And then we're going to do send email. And you can see here that you can write some text, for example, and then you're going to put the outputs from um, the HTML table and the compose. You're going to put them right here and then you're going to address it and then it sends out. So pretty magical. Looking at the actual list, Let's go ahead and look at the list here real quick, and then we're going to run the test. Notice here I have a create date. Um, let me go ahead and see if we can get over there just a smidge. All right. So see the create date, 317, 316, 314. So we don't want the 314. We want SAAS, SAS, okay? And we want this one because we're doing, I'm sorry, we're only doing one day, so we only want to see 317. So let's go ahead and go on in and see if we can do that. So let's run the, the test here. We're just gonna hit test. Yep. Yep, and we're gonna run it and hit done. And notice that we're successful all the way through. We've got the email. Notice here, this is the email, but we really can't see it as much because this is the conversion of it, right? 
Now, I know for a fact this is the 317 message because it's really big and I did it on purpose to check for another video that I'm doing. But, but let's go ahead and just check the email itself. So here on the screen, you see the email message. Here's the text that we put in. And then here is the message itself. And some of that data is a little sensitive, so I've, I've uh, blanked it out there, sorry. But here you can see the date, the only date. So this is the first cell in this table. And then we keep going down, no more cells. That means that we only collected the one file. That's it, that's all we collected. And that's how that runs. So when you wanna create this, um, you can just go ahead and, and create the the flow just like this, but the key here, just to summarize, is that um, we created this, we added add days to there. Also something to note here, we put a top count, so you could potentially control the amount of information that the people receive as well using this top count feature. Now I'm gonna remove it for this because I just want everything for that day to appear. Since I've narrowed it down to a negative one, then it doesn't matter. I don't need a total entry anymore. Now, if I needed it, I could add it. And then one last thing since we're here, we're gonna copy this here. And um, using Control C. And then we're gonna update this uh, field right here. So let's go ahead and edit the note. And we're going to update just this section here. Now, remember that you have that single quote right there, before and after, before and after. You're going to want to make sure you have both of those quotes in place.